Aleph Tav Sermons He has no form or comeliness, and when we see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected by men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid, as it were, our faces from him, he was despised, and we did not esteem him, surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten by God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement for our peace was upon him and by his stripes, we are healed. Jesus Christ and him crucified. Grace, in the, disgrace. The beloved Son of God was disgraced, that we might receive God's grace, his unearned, unmerited, and undeserved favor. Grace in the thick of disgrace. We see the Gospel of Jesus Christ in the book of Daniel. In the scroll of Daniel, we read of how King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon captured the southern kingdom of Judah and destroyed the Temple of Solomon. Consequently, the best Hebrew young men, royal descendants, and nobles were taken captive and exiled to Babylon. It was utter shame and disgrace for them. Yet, in the thick of that great humiliation was the grace of God manifested. Among the exiles were four Hebrew young men by the names of Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael and Azariah. Their captor changed their names to Belteshazzar, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, respectively. When three of them refused to bow to the golden image of King Nebuchadnezzar, they were thrown into a fiery furnace that was heated seven times hotter than usual. However, the pre-incarnate Jesus was with them in the blazing furnace to rescue them. When King Nebuchadnezzar saw the fourth man in the furnace who protected the three young chaps from being burnt to death, he was stone-cold stunned. He then called them out from the furnace and realized that the hair of their head was not singed, nor were their garments affected. Not even the smell of fire was on them. The king was so awed by the God of the three Hebrew young men that he not only promoted them, but also passed a decree, saying, Any people, nation, or language that speaks anything offensive against the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego shall be cut into pieces and their houses be made a heap of rubbish, for there is no other God who is able to save in this way. There are no insignificant details in the Bible. Hidden within the names of the four Hebrew young men is the message of the Gospel or Good News of Jesus Christ. Now, the meaning of the Hebrew names are as follows, Daniel means God is my judge, Hananiah means Yahweh has been gracious, where Yahweh is the Hebrew name of Jesus, Miss Hale means who is what God is, and finally, Azariah means Yahweh, Jesus, has helped. Taken together, the names read, Yahweh my God, the judge of the cosmos, has been gracious. Who is like him to have helped me? Isaiah 33 verse 22 Psalm 136 verse 1, NKJV. Does it not echo the decree of King Nebuchadnezzar? There is no other God who can deliver like this. The corresponding Babylonian names have the following meanings, Belteshazzar means Bel protect the king, Shadrach means, command of Aku, a pagan god, Meshach means who is what Aku is. Abednego means the servant of Nego, a pagan god, the change of names reveals Satan's attempt to replace God in the hearts of God's beloved children through the worship of pagan gods, Satan hates God but is no match for him. Hence, he tries to hurt God by turning the hearts of his beloved children against him. God gave the law or conscience to show us how far we have fallen short of his unconditional love. But the devil exploits what is holy, just, and good, to keep us captive as the prisoner of sin, Romans 2 verse 14, Romans 3 verse 20 and Romans 7 verses 11 to 15 of the Amplified Bible. What the devil meant as evil for us, God turns it around for our good by sending his beloved Son in the flesh as Jesus the Christ. Where Satan tries to portray himself as the God who protects, God sent his beloved Son who was born the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings, Matthew 2 verse 2, Revelation 17 verse 14, NKJV. He was born of a woman through the virgin birth, born under the law, to redeem those who were under the law so that we might return to God the Father as His beloved children, Galatians 4 verses 4-5, NKJV. It was a fulfillment of the Gospel of Jesus Christ that was first announced in Genesis 3 verse 15. 
where Satan tries to project an erroneous perception of God as a morose God who commands obeisance, the beloved Son of God as Jesus the Christ revealed God as our Father who Himself tenderly loves and entreats us, John 16 verse 27, Amplified Bible. Jesus came to serve and not to be served, Matthew 20 verse 28, NKJV. When John the Baptist baptized Jesus, it was an act that identified Jesus with sinners, whose sins he would ultimately bear, and to whom his righteousness would be imparted, footnote to Matthew 3 verse 15, Amplified Bible. Where the devil tries to replace the one true God in our hearts and minds, God the Son came in human form as Jesus Christ and Him crucified as the show and display of God as love, Romans 5 verse 8, 1 John 4 verses 8 to 10, 16, NKJV. Where the evil one tries to keep us under the bondage of sin, God made Jesus who knew no sin to be sin for us, so that we might be released from the prison of sin, 2 Corinthians 5 verse 21, Colossians 1 verses 13 to 14, NKJV. Jesus was buried and raised from the dead three days after, as divine proof of our justification, Romans 4 verse 25, NKJV. In short, where sin abounds, grace superabounds. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is no respecter of persons. He does not show favoritism or partiality. What He did for the three Hebrew young men, He will do for us. In our dire despair and deepest sorrow, Christ Jesus will lift us up and carry us through to abundant peace and joy. It has always been the heart of our loving Father God to shower us with His gracious love. This is evident from the genealogy of Genesis chapter 5, where 5 is the biblical number for grace. In Genesis 5, we find the genealogy from Adam to Noah, Adam beget Seth. Seth beget Enosh. Enosh beget Kainan. Kainan begets Mahalalel. Mahalalel begets Jared. Jared begets Enoch. Enoch begets Methuselah, Methuselah begets Lamech. And Lamech begets Noah. The message of the Gospel of Jesus Christ is found in the meaning of those names, Adam means man, Seth means appointed, Enosh means mortal, Kainan means sorrow, Mahalalel means the blessed God, Jared means shall come down, Enoch means teaching. Methuselah means his death shall bring, Lamech means the despairing, and finally, Noah means rest. Taken together, we have the message of the Gospel, man appointed mortal sorrow, the blessed God shall come down. Teaching, his death shall bring the despairing, rest. It pointed forward to how Jesus would be crucified, buried, and then raised three days later to release us from the prison of sin, the Bible is all about the love of God for us that is in Jesus Christ from cover to cover. This is but one example. Let us look away from all that distracts towards Jesus, the author and perfecter of faith, Hebrews 12 verse 2, Amplified Bible. As we behold Jesus, He will transform us into His image from one degree of glory to another, 2 Corinthians 3 verse 18. It's all about Jesus. Amen. 感谢收看,快乐时间过得快。又是时候讲拜拜。Happy times do really fly, it is time to say goodbye. Thanks for watching. You may want to subscribe to my YouTube channel or become a Patreon. Till we meet again. Be blessed.